If you are here after the Samsung's unpacked event, just reconsider getting those foldable devices after a minute. Let me cut straight to the point. First up, the Z Fold 5. I'm really disappointed with what Samsung has done this time. It's not a major upgrade at any point. I was really excited and looking forward to what they might be bringing to the table because this event was held in their hometown after so many years and they should have done something great. But what they have only done is some minor upgrades to the existing Fold 4. What you will see in this is a little bit larger outer display, which is 3.8 inches and also an upgrade to the processor. But everything else from camera, the design, build, quality and whatever you're getting with the phone is not so impressive in comparison to the Z Fold 4 and the price that you'll be paying for it. I would rather recommend getting a Motorola Razr 40 Ultra, which has a much more larger outer display, has a 165 hertz refresh rate and also a much more slinker design. I made a video about phone designs in the past and go check it out. Motorola has been the pioneer in redesigning and bringing new things to the table. Just check it out over here. Moving on, Fold 5. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I look so disappointed, but Fold 5, right? Yes, it has better hinges. It looks slimmer, less in weight, but it still doesn't bring something new completely. I would recommend you rather get a Vivo X Fold, which has a much more larger battery and also a better design form factor. I'm only saying all this because of the price that you'll be paying. Both of them is easily about $1,000 with the base unit. Either you get the fourth generation of each of these devices, or you could get other foldable devices that I had recommended in this video. Choose your tech wisely. If you like this review, leave a thumbs up and see you in the next one.